In this video, I'm going to be talking all about the Wushu or Shaolin Bamboo Shield we have for sale at Enzo. I'm going to be talking all about its features, give you all the dimensions, talk about who would use this and what you'd use it with, and at the end, I'll put together a short montage of people training with the Wushu or Shaolin Bamboo Shield. Hi, my name is Doug Swift. I've been doing martial arts for the past 33 years and the owner of Enzo Martial Arts for the past 16 years. If you're liking this video, click the little icon, subscribe to this channel and get all the latest videos and updates from Enzo Martial Arts. So let's get into this video and learn all about the Wushu Bamboo Shield we have for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. So this I've named the Wushu Bamboo Shield. Now, is it just a Wushu, like modern Wushu? Not really. You tend to see them in Shaolin. So really I should call it the Shaolin Bamboo Shield. This usually would go along holding a flexible broadsword or like the shorter flexible can down. Now that usually would be the combination that you train with. So you'd have the shield on your left arm and the sword on your right, and you do your forms with, with, with that. Now you do see a lot of people using these in Shaolin demos, either as a group, or as partner partner work. Now at the end I'll put together some demos so you can see people training in these exact formations. So yeah, the shorter candals are popular and the long flexible wushu broadswords with the shield are a very popular demo piece for Shaolin demonstrations or you know wushu demonstrations too but you do tend to see them mainly in wushu really good for being able to protect against sword strikes striking hitting makes lots of noise lots of banging around it's a really really good showpiece so just give you some of the features of this shield now as you can see really striking it's got a big tiger's face painted on the front now this is painted on the yellow material so again it's not completely indestructible it's possible that it was wear off but people do repaint them so as it wears off over time you can just top it up with like an acrylic paint or something like that now it does have this flappy material on the edge around again it just makes it flap around helps with the spectacle so you can see it. it's a bit of a distraction now on the back you get one elastic strap and a very fixed handhold which is like a wire twisted wire over two metal loops with a, with a hand on it so it's really easy to slip your arm into it it fits over any size forearm really and it's a pretty standard forearm length so you can hide hide your arm behind it for good blocking and, and whatever but it's a nice small size it's not not a huge one so you, you it's really maneuverable maneuvering around in demos competitions and training now you also notice that it's slightly rounded. Now this is pretty common for bamboo shields because this whole structure is made out of um, like a lattice bamboo. So if you're ever unfortunate enough to have the thing like rip, rip apart, you will see that it's all a bamboo lattice and then all tied together and then covered in material. But yeah, they are all slightly rounded, which actually really helps for doing rolls and dives over it. So you will see in the demos, people are diving with their sword and they're using, using the roundness to roll over in, in a diving roll or something like that. Now, this is quite a small bamboo shield. In the past, we have had the huge ones that tend to be for like more traditional styles, like some of the southern styles use the big ones, and you can hide a whole person behind them. Quite unwieldy, quite difficult to use. Obviously, these ones are much smaller, much more maneuverable, and uh, yeah, much you can do a lot more dynamic, um, big movements with these Shaolin Wushu bamboo shields. This isn't the type of piece of training equipment, I wouldn't quite call it a weapon, but it was a piece of training equipment that you would use early on. It's something that people tend to move on to, sort of once you're, once you're doing demonstrations, part of the club, yeah, part of the demo team, it'll be something that you learn like much further on in, in your Shaolin Kung Fu career. Partly because you've got to manoeuvre two bits, so there's both hands are doing something, you've got a sword in one hand, you've got to be able to block, see the other person predict. For Even though they're choreographed demos, you've still got to be 
pretty um, sharp and manoeuvrable um, in your demos. So it's not something that you'd learn early on, it's something that you'd move on to, so a bit of more of an advanced piece of training kit. So just giving you an idea of the dimensions. So as it is a circle, obviously I'll give you the diameter of it. So it comes in at 21 inches or 54 centimeters. Just have a look at the weight. Weighs in about 640 grams. It's a pretty light weight. As I mentioned earlier, along with the bamboo shield, people tend to use the flexible broadswords or the flexible candles. But we do have a wide range of other martial arts kit here for Shaolin Kung Fu. So as well as that, we also have the Kung Fu Guandaos, the white waxwood Kung Fu staffs, and the Tiger Forks, and the Kung Fu Pudows. So as promised at the beginning of the video, here's a short montage of people training with the Wushu Bamboo Shield. Thanks very much for watching. I hope it was useful. I hope you learned loads about the Wushu Bamboo Shield we have for sale at Enzo. If you like this video, click the little icon, subscribe to this channel, and get all the latest videos and updates from Enzo. Thanks very much, and I'll see you soon. Cheers.